to talk about a really important topic, a topic that artists do not talk about or don't want to talk about or actually don't even know how to begin a conversation. And it is about protecting your art. Why artists should have contracts and terms and condition policies in place. This is Israel, your uh, professional independent gallery designer, illustrator and contemporary artist. When we as artists take on commissions, collaborations, or even sell our artwork, it's crucial to have clear agreements in place. Contracts provide a platform to define the scope of work, deadlines, payment terms, and additional requirements. By setting these expectations up front, both you as the artist and your client are on the same page, reducing the chances of misunderstandings or disputes. Contracts helps us to retain ownership of our artwork and establish usage rights, clearly outlining whether the client can reproduce or modify the artwork. It will be used for specific purposes, um, protects the artist's creativity, creative integrity and prevents unauthorized use. Contracts ensure that artists maintain control over how their artwork is shared, displayed and marketed. Now, I'm pretty sure that most of you here have actually seen um, artists openly on TikTok or YouTube or whatever talk about these huge corporated industries that is uh, taking the artist's work and reproducing it, reselling it without those artists' consent, um, which basically they're technically infringing uh, on that artist's creation, but the likelihood that that artist actually has intellectual property or uh, licensing or anything in that regard is low because it's not it's, it's not cheap <laughs> to license those stuff, but it is important. And um, seeing more and more artists and creators work being stolen by the day and re being reproduced and being uh, redistributed, uh, that is quite a shame. Collaborations, guys, right? We all like to collaborate. Us as artists and creators, we love to collaborate whether it's with businesses or so, or even other individual creators. Collaboration is great. It has awesome opportunities, but having some fine print on collaborations can make sure that both parties does that needs to be done and that no one is trying to be too smart for their own shoe size. So collaborations can be exciting opportunities, but it's essential to establish clear boundaries and expectations. Contracts provide a platform for outlining the responsibilities, rights and obligations of each party involved. Having these agreements in place ensures that everyone involved understands their roles, contributions and potential revenue sharing arrangements. Contracts provide a vital framework for securing payments and avoiding payment disputes. In case of any payment issues, uh, having a contract in place strengthens, strengthens the artist's position when seeking resolution or legal remedies. Sometimes projects may need to be cancelled, clients may request refunds, Contracts enable us to outline cancellation policies, including in any applicable fees or the redistribution of deposits. Now, these policies provide us with protection and helps avoid financial losses or disputes when cancellations occur. I've, I've burned myself a lot not having these policies in place. I want to I really want to help avoid you making the same mistakes. This, this information just isn't really provided for us uh, in, in the art community. And so I really have tried to take that upon myself to at least provide 
some sort of material and information that can actually help you out. So I provided templated terms and condition policies as well as a few contracts that has been professionally written up by folks that know what they're doing. Okay, so the terms and condition policies um, is written up by Inspirante and two different agreements or contract has been written by Stain IP. Um, so what this means is that these materials has been written according to South African law and uh, these are not your typical uh, general templates you'll find online actually they are they are really yeah. legit and will actually protect yeah. you instead of harming you now there's obviously terms and conditions that comes upon using these term yeah. templates because um, everyone's needs are different so the contracts do need to be changed and adjusted to fit yourself but it is something that you can use our, as foundation um, and it's something that is has been written up so you can just ask another attorney to make the adjustments to you or even ask Stain IP to make the adjustments to you. Same with the terms and conditions. Um, you can make those adjustments to yourself or you can ask Inspirante to do that as well to make the changes for you. Um, the, the two contracts are as follows the one is a collaboration agreement and in the second one is a copyright and intellectual property agreement so the intellectual and copyright uh, agreement is the one that you would use to make sure that your artwork your style your brand is actually protected and that the artwork and the essence of it cannot be reused or redistributed without your prior consent. So, okay guys, I hope this has been informative and educational and um, let me know in the comments if there is any other specific topics that I need to look at, discuss, talk about. I'm more than welcome to do that, so please let me know.